one more time as they come off turn number four. Kenny Walker going to lead him in. Stevens to his outside. Stevens out in front as he'll take it down the back stretch. Gilmore in the number two spot as we go three wide for third. Wesley Smith making his way up into the number three spot in car number 44. Side-by-side -side battle for fourth. Gilmore working the bottom of the speedway. Stevens working through the center of the racetrack. Now Gilmore up and gone. Wesley Smith second, Gilmore third. Good battle going on for fourth. Kenny Walker side by side with the Joey Wiles machine. Stevens out in front looking good. No pressure at all as he's got about a half a straightaway. Checkered flag and the old nine will win it. Gilmore second, Wesley Smith third. It turns three and four side by side, nose to tail. Cars battle for that top spot. Now make it four. Nine car hooking up the top of the speedway, working his way up towards the front as a 292 way up the track. Philip Caddy trying to move up in the 17 car. 44 out in front. Caddy trying to get up in this bottle as well. Beach in the 27 car also moving up, up into the number five position right now. Battle for the lead, going down into turns three and four. Caden Cornell looking low, can't make it stick. Two to go. And 27 car going around, going to bring out the caution flag. Almost got it going, but Ralph had the flag out. And Dennis, that's one of those situations where you got a car in the middle of the track and you got guys coming pretty quick. We're going to go back to racing as they come off turn. the white flag this time by one more time around. Up at the top of the racetrack, car number 50 trying to get that lead one final time. Not going to work.
44 car will be in victory lane. The 50 car, Caden Cornell, finishes up in the number two spot in the nine in the number three position. That's the way they'll finish and head back to the pit area as Mike Hillman leads the next group of cars out onto the racetrack. Good battle off turn number four. Three cars trying to get away from the rest of the field. Coming off turn number four. Hailman still out in front. Hailman looking strong right now, but he's got two challengers, one on the bottom and one on the top. As they go down the backstretch, three cars battling for fourth. Zero nine down on the bottom of the racetrack. He's got a good run. He'll take the lead. Side by side battle for the number four spot. Mazel, who started in the back, has took over the number four spot. Hailman now under fire, 70 car up on the top side of the speedway. Hailman back to the number three spot. Now the number 20 car taking over that number two spot. Laps winding down as they come into turn number one. White flag this time by off turn number four. One more time around. Trouble for the number 21 car. He'll keep it going. We stay green as he'll go to the back of the pack and into a B main. Off turn number four, the zero nine out in front will win it to 70. Or make that to 20, running in second. And how about the 41 car? And Dennis, you talked about the driver in the 41 machine coming out of town. Looks like he's got a lot of problems in that 41. Yep, sure does. And he started in the last spot, came up to run fourth. The car was, looked like it was really, really good, but he shuts it down right away. Nose to tail, four rows deep. Here we go off turn number four. Jared Whitney out in front in car number four. He'll take him down into turn number four. A lot of company coming right behind him, Dean Willie. I don't know. I think I did. I think I said Kyle Slater. Keep her going, buddy. Keep her going. Caution coming out. Right behind him in second. James Thompson wasting no time. He'll go to work on the 16 machine, trying to take that third spot, working out on the bottom of the speedway. That's Brian Myers. Brian Myers in the number 16 car. Going back to the number four spot. Michael Stake down on the inside. James Thompson looking racy in car number 11. He wants that second position. He's got to be down on the bottom of the speedway. And does a nice job keeping that car down there. Good battle for that number two spot. Good news for Jared Whitney as this allows him to pull away just a little bit. Michael Stake up to fourth. Off turn number four. They're still battling. Thompson now with the number two spot. Stake in the number four spot. Willie in the middle. Two to go this time by Jared Whitney out in front of James Thompson. Oh. 
White flag in the air this time by one more time around. Final time around, third turns three and four. Jared Whitney will win it. Thompson second, Willie third. And a nice run right there for James Thompson, picking up several spots in that car, number 11. A nice run for him. Michael Stake finishing up in the number four position in car number, number four. Three wide off turn, number two, Logan Martin in the middle. As they come through turns three and four, they are still three wide. Paul dropping back to fourth and now under attack by Michael Page in the 23 car. Out in front though, it's all Aaron Scroggins. Beecham way up high as he comes through turns three and four. Down on the bottom side, the number 14 car trying to hold off Michael Page. Logan Martin closing in on the leader as he's right up his tailpipe off turn number four, battle for the lead. Logan Martin has it by half a car length as they go into turn number one. Now Scrogg is going back to the bottom, trying to get it back. Andy Beecham got company coming as well as Michael Page in a 23 car on the charge down low. He has a good run on the bottom. He will take over that spot. Now Beecham will try to hold off that number 14 car of Josh Paul. Not much grip on the top of the racetrack, but Andy Beecham not giving it up. Stays up there, but he's going to lose one, maybe two spots. Paul now going into the number four spot. Beecham still up on that top side. Hatfield running back there in the number five spot. Two to go this time by for Logan Martin. Scroggins still in second. Michael Page third. He's pushing really bad. Yeah. White flag this time for Logan Martin. One more time around for the leader. Checkers for the 36 of Logan Martin, Aaron Scroggins, Michael Page, your top three. And Dennis, I know Andy Beecham not happy with that run in car number 50. That car just would not turn. He stayed up on the top of the racetrack, but you could tell he just couldn't get that car to rotate through the center of the corner. Tough break for J.C. Morton not afraid of the top side of the speedway. He'll go all the way up there and now is in second. He'll take it to the top again in three and four. On the top side, Matt Fugit right now trying to hold on to the lead as they come off turn four. something to do with that drying out the top side of the racetrack. We'll find out right now as we get ready to go green. Right here. Just a little bit powdery up on top. Yeah. Hugan trying to hold on. Here comes J.C. Morton up on the top side. Trying to get a run around that 16. He won't make it work yet. Still door to door as they go through three and four. Morton through the center of the racetrack, getting a little bit better run right now. He's side by side. Fugan down to the number two spot, trying to hold on to that. Now's the number 56 car. Right on him now. Here comes Body in the 71.
Jim Body now going to go to work on the Fugit machine. Body up on the top side of the racetrack. Maybe a little bit too tall. Here comes Jackson. Jackson racing door to door with Kyle Slater in the 56. Down the back stretch they go. Four cars in a battle for second through fifth. Two to go for J.C. Morton. Battle for second, third, fourth, and fifth. Really heating up. Jim Body's got the number two spot for now. It's white flag this time. J.C. Morton one to go. Body in second. Here comes the Jackson machine. J.C. Morton will win a Jim Body second. Chris Jackson third. And that'll do it for the reliable Chevrolet B Modifieds. Rolling out next, it will be your late models.
Jake Comer in the number 95. Doug Wilson, the 81, not making the call. Trouble earlier in the heat race. Here they come off turn three and four. They're looking for a green flag, and they're going to get it. Green flag is in the air. McDougal Cox. And Garner, your top three cars as they come across the start-finish line. McQuarter in the number 75, running in fourth. Right now, Johnson right on his tail as well as the number 66 of Cobble. Cobble and Johnson door-to-door -door for the position as they come off turn number four. Wayne Johnson up into the number five spot as they come through turns one and two. McDougal out in front as they go into turn one and two. Garner in the number two spot now. Johnson up to third. Wayne Johnson, the number 60 car, the man on the move. Grayson Cox, the 777 on the move as well, but in the wrong direction. And we've got trouble off turn number four. Here they come in turn number three and four. Ralph Watson's got the flag rolled up. We're going back under green. Green flag in the air. <laughs> Off turn. Off turn number four into turn number one. McDougal still your leader. Cox now coming back on the inside. Good battle for that spot with Johnson. Now here comes Garner up on the top side. Throw a blanket over four of them. Here comes McCorder. Top five cars very close right now. McDougal about three car lengths now. Here they come. Garner on the outside. Johnson on the bottom. Johnson up to the number two spot. Cox in the third. Now Cox goes down to the bottom side of Johnson. Garner back to the number four spot. Now Garner back in the number three spot. Looking for second as they come off four. Johnson slips off turn number four. Garner goes from fourth to second. Garner, Johnson, Cox. Second, third, and fourth. Johnson on the bottom as it comes through four. Grayson Cox right on his bumper as they go into turn number one. Into turn number four. Now Garner trying to pull up alongside McDougal as they come off turn number four. McDougal holds on. Cox and Johnson get ready to go door to door for the number three spot. Off turn number four, McDougal. Still your leader. Garner trying to hold on to the number two spot and trying to hold on to his hood. You can see that hood ready to come off right there on that 114 car. If somebody tries to go around the right side, I'm not sure he can see him. Here they go down the back stretch. On the outside, door to door through turns three and four. New leader, the 114 car of Garner. McDougal trying to hold on down on the bottom side. Johnson now in the number three spot. Cox running in the number four spot. <gasps> Calvin Garner 
on top of the leaderboard right now. Trouble for Horton. He'll go back to the pit area in the number 18 car. White flag will be coming out next time by as they work their way off turn number three and four. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Caution. Caution on the speedway over in turn number two. Green this time. Here they come through turn number three and four. Garner leads them in. And we have a restart. McDougal going down to the bottom side of Garner now. They're door to door for the lead. Door to door for third as they go through turn number three. McDougal, Garner. Off turn number four. It's going to be Garner. Johnson with a half a car length for the number three spot. Cox now on the bottom side. Three cars battling it out for the number two spot. Garner trying to hold on. Here they come off turn number four. Kylan Garner is going to win the Turkey Bowl Legend Race. McDougal will finish up in the number two spot. Cox gets the third spot. Johnson will finish in fourth. Racers or race fans recognize this view. I'm sure we've all experienced it this year in 2015, either going or coming to the races. On the way back from Springfield for the Merry Turkey Bowl here on 13 Highway. And just a reminder of uh, so many trips this year. On the highway here as the white lines race by, the dotted ones in the middle kind of reminded me of so many races that I've been to this year, but it has been a, a lot of fun and exciting year as the Cheese Works has enjoyed being able to uh, take you race fans out to the races and hope you have enjoyed it. I know we sure have. Looking forward to 2016, hoping that we're going to be able to uh, continue uh, doing what we're doing. And hope you fans have enjoyed it. But just wanted to say uh, thanks for all the fine comments that I've gotten this year. People that appreciate the videos. Uh, I tell people to me it's almost uh, better than many in that. Uh, compliment goes a long way and I appreciate all the fine comments that people have made over the years but uh, once again just a reminder of uh, how many times we've all made trips like this the long hours that all the racers and everybody puts in but looking forward to 2016 so uh, Hopefully we'll uh, get to see you all again uh, next year. Hope you've enjoyed it.